Wow, the first bird is the eastern screech owl. Did you hear it? I'm in the Adora Roosevelt area. It's 7 o'clock in the morning, the first day of 2023. Trying to see as many birds as possible. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be out all day, but at least in the morning. Okay, Canada geese. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, a oh, whole bunch of Canada geese circling around. I already got the barred owl and screech owl, the first bird of the year. It's always Eastern Screech Owl. <laughs> Such a beautiful morning. All bunch of turkey vultures in the park. And there's the black vulture too. Both of them, turkey vultures and black vulture. What's going on? Squirrel is talking to me. Meow, meow. That's so funny, I was uh, staring at me. What's going on? Okay, I'm back. What else we have here? Tufty Titmus. Oh, white eyed Virea. Very good. I like that one. Oh, nice. Yellow throated warbler. It's a beautiful bird. Excellent. I'm happy to see this one. So now I'm heading to Hannah Park. This morning is foggy. Look at that, I can't even see anything. I'm heading down the beach. Oh, red light. <laughs> wow, it's so foggy. Good morning. Thank you. Foggy. There are a whole bunch of cormorants. <laughs> so many cormorants waking up. Cardinal, Northern Cardinal, our common year round bird. It's actually a beautiful bird. Oh. I can hear the billiated woodpecker. It's funny how the squirrel is standing on top of the post and moving its tail. What's going on? Yeah, I can see you. Oh, Samantha Sparrow. See? That's the first sparrow for the year. It's so peaceful morning. Perfect for birding. 
Look how far it is. All kinds of birds here. Kalinolds, cormorants. What else we have here? Ooh, raditak. You know it's hard to say, but that's the raditak. Because the fog is so thick. This Kalinol is so friendly. He's right here in front of me. Double crested cormorant. Nice flock of birds up there. Look at this red bellied woodpecker. He's busy looking for food. That's the orange crowned warbler. They have this metallic click, more musical, in that little yellow side on the wing. And then we have white billed creep there. It's the white billed creep. Look at this palm warbler. He's checking me out. Yeah, what's going on? Not much. This green heron just flew out and landed on the bench. It's a cool looking bird. Green heron. <laughs> He's staring at me. Oh, they're used to it, people. Look, it just landed there and he doesn't care about me. It's just reminding his own business. And then we have a whole bunch of red winged blackbirds. That's the female. And that's the male. Oh, I can see the Phoebe. There's that Phoebe I saw earlier. Yeah. Looks like that's his favorite spot. Oh, nice. Yellow bellied sapsucker. knocking so I started look around and I found it that's a nice looking yellow bellied sap sucker we have a lot of sun ingas here that's the female see this um, brown neck females have brown neck males have black neck Now I'm heading to the beach section. So that's the villa with one leg. You know, that's how they like to stand. Standing on one leg and resting the other one. Usually you see them always running around in these Standing on the one leg too, the same way like a wheel. I think it's already nine o'clock, but the fog is still haven't burned out. <laughs> it's really foggy still. The female, female downy woodpecker. See, there's no red on the head. Common yellow thread. See, it has that black mask. The 
It's the juvenile male. Let's see what we have here. I like this pathway. It's beautiful. Whole bunch of common gallinals. They're climbing the tree. Scared everybody else away. Okay, coming down. <laughs> Look at all those bikers. Hannaburg has a nice bike, mountain bike trail. Okay, so far already 50 species for this day. Very good, let's get some more. Now I'm at uh, Heritage River Road, the wetlands, and uh, picking up some birds one by one. And here we have the adult little blue heron. Going somewhere? There's the force turn. See the black patch behind the eye? That's a typical marking of force turn. It's so warm and nice today. I think the temperature is 70. So yeah, perfect start of the year. I need to get the yellow crown night heron and I know where they usually are. So I'm gonna go and see if I can find it. I call this road a fairy day road. <laughs> it's at Wojo Island and um, between the uh, Revolt Club and the Plantation. Let's go and find the Yellow Ground Night there. It's a nice hiking trail here. It's three miles long, but right now I'm not gonna go all the way. Just gonna go to the hidden band and see if I can find the Yellow Grand Night Heron. It's a beautiful hiking trail actually. Oh, look at that. See, since the weather is so warm, green and all is out. Green and all. <laughs> This is the tree I usually climb. It's pretty far. I thought it was closer. I walked already a mile. Still no pond. This is the pond. Here you go, I can see the night patterns. <laughs> Look at all those night terrans flying. Yep, that's the pond. But only thing I was on the wrong side of it, so I'm gonna go around. So now I'm at the, at the right side of it. But where's the trail? I think this one. That's the one. Caution, alligators. Okay, let's see. That's the black crown night heron. I'm looking for a yellow crown night heron. No luck with yellow crown. All points are black crown night herons, but no yellow crown. What you gonna do now? I have to hurry back because time is flying. See, one mile. Okay, almost back. I'm running out of time. I need to hurry. I need to go to Huguenot Park and Spoonville Pond. 
I'm back. That's the Huguenot Park entrance. Let's see what we can find. Very interesting lighting right now. Cargo ship is leaving the jet sport. It's kind of foggy and it's so warm. Pretty cool view. So what do we have here? Yeah. Four cisterns, black skimmers, royal dunes, ring pill calls, lambing calls. So let's climb over. subscribed yet click that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next one